There's a lot of products out there that are claiming to be money savers. Which ones are gimmicks and which ones actually are going to help your program out? Hi, my name is Casey Dramus. I'm a music composer, arranger, and music educator. And on this channel, we go through things that can help you and your music program thrive. Years and years ago, I saw this product when it first came out, the very original Pick Punch. I always thought it was a really cool idea, so I just always saved any gift card any credit card, anything I had, and I kept it in this little box. <laughs> it's been probably a decade, and I always keep thinking, someday I'll get a pick punch and I'll use them. Well, I finally did. I looked at a lot of reviews on some of these, and it seems to be that the main issue I see people write about when they have a one-star review is that after cutting out the pick, the edges are rough and you need to sand them down. That's a pretty obvious thing that you would have to do. Just because it punches something out, doesn't mean that it's going to smooth out all the edges. Having like a real fine piece of sandpaper around while you punch them out and you can sand down the edges just to make sure that it's not catching on a string is helpful. A really great part about this product is that if it's getting dull, you can just put some tin foil in it and punch out tin foil and that's supposed to sharpen it. I haven't done this yet because I haven't used it enough that it seems to be dull yet and I've cut out well over 200 picks at this point and it seems to still be going fine. I will say there's somewhat of a learning curve, not much, but you have to really punch it out with a lot of intensity. Uh, you can't go slow or else it's not gonna cut all the way through and then you have to recut and it gets some, really gets messed up edges. So you have to punch it really firmly and confidently. If you're using a credit card, you gotta make sure that any lettering is not used at the end or the tip of the pick. It actually really works well with the lettering that you can put it where your thumb would be. It works as a grip instead, which is actually really convenient because there's a lot of guitar players who prefer to have a grip on their pick. But you want to make sure you don't put the lettering towards the end or else it's going to catch on strings. I have punched out a pick on accident where there were letters on the tip. You can sand it down and make it work, but it's a lot of extra sanding and a lot of extra time for one pick. The one variable that is hard about these picks is that you can't choose the thickness. All guitar players like different various thicknesses to their picks. I like mine to be really strong so that if I'm playing individual strings at a time or soloing, it's not bending. And I think that's because I'm a drummer as well because I use drumsticks and those don't bend. And so when something bends while I'm playing, it bugs me. That's my preference. But you'll have to find different gift cards and find the thicknesses you like. Okay, so the big question is, is it worth it? Is it worth taking the time to buy this product, get it, and then punch out all these picks, sand them down a little bit, and use them for class. I'm a huge fan of any time you recycle material. I just love the idea of this is a free product, a free gift card that is just gonna be thrown in the trash and I can make four to five picks out of it that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Once you go through and you punch out cards over the course of five, 10 years, you know, you're using up some material that otherwise would just be sitting in a landfill, and I think that's a really cool thing. Not the landfill part, the idea of not having it in the landfill is what I mean. Is it better just to buy a bunch of picks? I've been on different websites and looked at pick packages, and there's some that have, you know, 100 picks for $10. If you want to go that route and pay, you know, 10 bucks a year or whatever, I will say that picks walk off a lot not even intentionally it's just you, you put it in your pocket or you set it down somewhere and they just get lost very easily especially if you're teaching an intro to guitar class you know yeah you could buy a bunch of picks every year and they're not that expensive you know i think when i was working in a music store we had picks individually for like 45 cents a piece so that's not a ton quality wise though i think you might as well just go with punching out a pick because the really cheap packages, they're not amazing picks anyway. I also love the idea of it's an easy way to get parents involved. You can send out a message at the beginning of the year saying, hey, we're taking donations. If you don't have any money or you would like to help us out, you can donate old gift cards or old credit cards if you feel comfortable with that. We use them for our guitar program and we cut out picks so kids can take picks home and have free picks to use throughout the semester. I think that's a great thing. I love any time people can donate something that doesn't cost them anything. Again, I just, I love the idea of recycling and I love the idea of getting parents involved or people in the school involved 
to donate for something. If you have a whole school of people donating gift cards, I'm pretty sure you're going to have enough picks that you won't have to worry about buying any package packs of picks. Any packs of picks. Packs of pick of peppers. Now the question is, will you use it? If I was in that situation where I needed to get a lot of picks for a class, I think I would because again, kids walk off with them on accident and that way I can just say when a kid gets one, I can say, you know what, you can just have it. Especially in the current condition right now, 2020, not passing germs around, not sharing picks is a positive. People are doing bell covers and woodwind bags and masks and all sorts of things that cost a ton of money and are killing people. If you can give a kid, you know, a pack of 10 picks for free, and say, take them, you don't need to give them back. I think that's pretty great. Pretty awesome, that's super awesome. Honestly, all around, I really do feel like it's a great value. I mean, I bought mine for less than $10. Less than 20, I, I don't know why I said 10. I have no idea. I think it's a great product. I will keep using it when I give guitar lessons and when I have a student, I'm just gonna have a big bowl of picks that if they need to take some, they can take them. The pick punch that I bought was El Rito, which I've never heard of that brand ever. The real reason I picked it was because it has an opening at the top so I can see where I'm cutting out the pick. I feel like that was a lot easier. That way I can make sure that I'm getting as many picks from one card as possible. And with a regular gift card, I can get five picks. I love exploring ways to save money for music programs because I know how tight money can be and I know how many things are out there that you really don't need to spend money on. What are ways that you can save money in the long run? And if you are interested in this as well, I would really love for you to subscribe, comment below, Below if you have ways or things that you do to save money in your school program. Best of luck to you.